Hello everyone, I am currently staying in the Academy Plaza in Dublin and I thought I would give you a room tour. Now apologies if my voice keeps going or I'm coughing, I'm really not well at the moment. It seems to be going around everywhere in the UK and yeah, I feel like crap. But I'm going to do the room tour because I don't wherever I go. So like I said, I'm in the Academy Plaza and there goes my voice the first time. <coughs> and the first things first, I actually emailed the hotel for information about the location and what was close and what there is to do because we're, we got here early Saturday morning and we are going home Sunday late tonight so we haven't got a lot of time to sort of walk around and explore and there's only so much you can do on Google so you might as well ask the pros who are here so they sent me quite a lot of information which I really appreciated and I will pop that all in the description box down below so this is the entrance Oh, so you have the key card bit there and you have the thermostat just there it is a very good lighting down this corridor so i don't plan to go in there we have a mirror there and then we go straight into the bedroom so this is the bed we have the bed little floating bedside cabinet the light controls and the same again over here on this side we have a phone and we have a plug socket underneath now for those who you know don't actually know we actually in ireland they have the normal plug sockets like we do in england so <coughs> sorry on this one there is oh there is the tv and it doesn't get a lot of channels but if you're in dublin you don't really want to be in watching tv anyway so i'll just turn my camera around so here we have the mirror and these lights is really good for doing your makeup and then we have some drawers and the tea and coffee in this drawer here. I don't drink tea or coffee. I don't use this. And there's some extra storage. Um, in here we just have some information that to be fair I never look at but the Wi-Fi is free which is good. So yeah, that is that mirror. And then we go over. So the lighting isn't great in here. Um, so we have the pillows. You get... You get extra pillows at the top. You actually get an ironing board and an iron, which is actually really handy. And obviously we've got some hangers. And in here we have the safe, which I haven't used, and some more storage space. So that's quite good there. And then directly to the left we have the bathroom. We have this shower here. Now the pressure is really good and pressure is really important. I've got really long hair, so pressure for me on a shower is just incredibly important um <coughs> i was a little disappointed because our um body wash shower wash wasn't refilled so we couldn't use it and i never really use it in a hotel but i actually forgot my shampoo and just remembered my conditioner so i was going to try and you know, use that but it ran out so i weren't too happy with that if i'm honest um i guess they would have obviously filled it up if I went and asked, but I was in the shower and I didn't plan to walk downstairs. Um, I'll turn it around again. So we have this long mirror, which is really handy. And then we have this zoomed in mirror here. Two glasses, obviously toilet, hidden system, a bin, my straighteners, and some pink pearl hand soap. I don't actually know if there's any in there. Yeah, not really a lot, which isn't great shouldn't have done that <clears throat> and then up here we have the hair dryer now if you have long hair like me this hair dryer probably won't be any good for you it took me a good like i don't know like 25 minutes to dry my hair when at home i can usually dry it like in 10 so if you are planning to visit here and you have long thick hair like me i'd probably recommend bringing your own hair dryer so yeah you get enough towels and I'll pull them all up there to dry. But that is the bathroom. Now, I'm slightly disappointed in one other thing, which isn't maybe like a big thing, but for me, it's just little details. Actually, on the duvet, it's ripped on both sides. Um, obviously, the headboard is a bit ripped. I know that's really not the hotel's fault, whoever said it before. But I don't know, just the ripped duvet and the minus the hand slope, just little things that, you know, I focus on <coughs> um the view from our hotel is pretty crap because we are in like internally bits so I'll just show you I've just kept this closed the whole time oh 
I don't like knit curtains. One second. So this is our view, but I didn't come here for a hotel view. And the window opens like so. But that noise was gonna do my head in. We are actually right next to a sports bar, which we couldn't hear at all. So if you're worried about that, you can't actually hear it. But that was the room tour. I hope it helped. I'll also pop some details down below, like I said, from the hotel and just some stuff that I've actually found. But I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped and I will see you soon. Bye.